Well, welcome back viewer. Apologies, I am uh, late again today, uh, but as you would have heard last week, uh, two small men had a, had a separate say in the matter as to what time I was going to get here. I did want to get here earlier, but you know, it is what it is. We, join, we are joining in the 13th over, 55 for zero off 12. We are currently watching Woodmanstone versus Hawley. Woodmanstone won the toss and they have put us into bat. So this is the opening bowler for Woodmanstone. He's bowled six overs so far for 20 runs. I'm reading off the live scoring uh, app that we have got, so it may be slightly delayed, but I'll, I'll make it as accurate yeah. as I can. That was pretty close. Um, our openers, Ant Puttock and Regan Darren, same as normal. You've got Ant on strike at the moment, Reeves at the other end. Um, yeah, so here we go. Changes to the squad, any many changes to the squad. We've got Barnett back. Barnett has played uh, a game in the threes. He's played a couple of games in the twos. He's played a couple of friendlies. He's played a few games to test his uh, leg out. And, well, you see, well his ankle, his Achilles. And he seems to think that he's fit enough and he's going to come up and do a job for us in the runs. Lovely shot from Ant, but he's straight to a fielder for no run. So, uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Uh, Hawley are second in the league and Woodmanston are seventh in the league, if I can remember correctly. Um, only 39 points behind us, so yeah, not, not a great deal. As I said last week, this league is so very tight, it's unbelievable. So yeah, we've got a bit of left arm over. And something else, I suppose. Look at this, this is fabulous. What a wonderful hat he is wearing. That's absolutely brilliant. Pleasure to see on a Saturday afternoon, that is. <laughs> again, I will apologise again because it wasn't well, not good enough. I, I certainly had other things and other priorities. Great run, great shot. Oh God, <laughs> what a wonderful bit of feeling. <laughs> Just diving out of shot, into shot. Brilliant. Um, anyway, where was I? Yeah, apologies once again. Um, sorry it, I missed half the season. But, uh, but my boys took priority, unfortunately, and uh, moving house and everything. I wanted to make sure that I was there for them and Chloe. So, uh, yeah, everyone's happy. Everyone's all good. I'm going to try and finish out the season. We have got, yeah, a couple of, a couple of games. Big busy weekend, this one, actually. So I'm filming today, and I'm going to be filming on Monday as well. Hopefully, a couple of games. So we'll see how we go. We've got Anton strike at the moment. This is the uh, first change bowler from Woodmanstern. And he is bowled three overs for 16 runs so far. And uh, yeah, everything that I've seen so far from Woodman's, then they look like they're keeping it very tight. That's a lovely shot from Ant. That's going to go the whole way. Outfield looks very, very quick today. As you can see, not much grass on it. It's starting to green up, but it's pretty brown. Groundsman still done a fantastic job of getting some stripes into it though. And uh, yeah, it's not, not easy this time of year. We have had a very tough summer. That's a wonderful reply. That's a great shot. That's a lovely shot. It's uh, Ant on strike there. It looks like we might have a new bowler on. Um, first, first change of bowling, second change of bowling. I couldn't tell you because I haven't been here from the start. So we got a bit of off spin though. Okay, so this chap has already bowled. They had already gone back to their opener. Joe Pryor, his name is. He's bowled four overs. Ooh, for 22 runs. And, um, well, had four more to that. That's a lovely shot from Riggs. Oh, lovely shot from Riggs. We seem to have a change of bowling on from the far end, the opener. We have seen the end of score at the moment 87 for zero off 17. The opener bowled nine overs for 27 runs with two maidens. That's a very good spell. Uh, taking a single off the first ball, we've now got Reeves on strike. Whee! That's a lovely shot. And that takes him to 50. Good time to turn up, eh? Super knock from him. Really fantastic. And he acknowledges the camera. Good boy. A wonderful shot from Regan. Seeing the ball beautifully. Batting very, very nicely. That's brought the 100 up for Hawley. 101 for zero. 
and we're in the 20th over. Now, uh, yeah, Reek seems to like batting against these guys. I do believe, from what I understand, he scored 120 something. I'll confirm that in a minute for you. But uh, yeah, there you go, 129 before he was dismissed against these guys at their place. So yeah, he's, uh, he's got some form against them. So he'll do much the same today. Very, very solid. That's a great bit of running. Might have some buzzers. No. <laughs> Keeper's still rolling around on the floor. That may run, that may not. Fielder in pursuit. And it just hops over the line. Wonderful sweep shot for man. Ah, short and bold. That one floated up there a little bit and thought he'd have a bit more of a go at it and uh, just punched it straight back into the bowler's hands. Well, that's the end of Ant, 36. Now, is the uh, hundreds, just low hundreds, the curse? Last time, the, when they broke the partnership between these guys, it was 103. Looks to me like it's 107 at the moment. Uh, not far off the same score. Here we are, we've got Matt Ware taking his guard. He played a very sensible, very mature, fully controlled knock against Newdegate last week. Got himself a nice 45. Don't think we'll see much the same today. You have Joe Hyatt still bowling at him. He's bowled three overs so far for 19 runs. Oh, he's just chipped it straight to a fielder. Maybe he wasn't warmed up and ready. Oh, that's poor. That's a shame, he won't be happy with that. He walks away with no runs to his name. 109 for two now. Here we are, the man we've missed all season is Barnet. He uh, seems to be moving fairly well. He hasn't hobbled around too much, which is quite incredible really, considering the uh, injury that he had. That was, uh, yeah, it was a pretty nasty injury. Usually takes a heck of a long time to recover. Luckily, he's a super fit chap. He's got his own little home gym and he works really, really hard keeping himself in um, in the best shape possible. So he's recovered very nicely indeed. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed we'll see him do some damage with the bat for us. The boys are very... Good shout, very good shout, great appeal, but uh, not given by the umpire. He's being handed back his lovely pink hat. Oh, yeah. Just a tickle around the keeper. Look at Barnet go, phenomenal that is, really good. That's a couple. Reeves will punish that, goodness me, that's gone miles. Straight back over his head. Riggs is seeing the ball beautifully. That's well picked up. <laughs> Very well hit. A little update on the score for you. 131. That's going to go to, was it a six or was it a four? 135 for two of 25. That's such a nice shot from Regan. Well round. Covered a huge amount of ground there. Way oh. straight back over the bowler's head. Beautifully struck for four by Barnett. Very, very nice shot. And that will move him onto 10. Very nice. Score at the moment, 144 for two off 26. And uh, Regan on 83 off 76 balls. Scoring very nicely. He's bowled him, got through, got through the gap and hit off stump. That's the end of Barnet, that's a shame, he started to open up and batted nicely. And uh, bowler held his line very nicely, good bowler, keeping it very, very tight. Over the top, that's Barnet's replacement on strike. You've got Ben Davies out there now. That's the mark. Oh, picked up 
so well by Regan. He's batting beautifully. He must be seeing it like a beach ball today. Beautifully driven. Past the wicket keeper's gloves for four. Oh, is it down his throat? Well taken. Turned around to keep a good close eye on the boundary. Yeah, make sure he didn't overstep, and that's the end of Ben. Went down the track, a slower ball seems to have done the trick. He's popped it in the air, straight into the hands of the fielder. That's a shame. There you go, he's pointing, he's pointing. He's thinking he should have been over the, over the clubhouse. He didn't get hold of it enough to do that. Here we go. Regan Derham is on 95 at the moment, off 91 balls. He's batted for 120 minutes, and his innings so far has consisted of 10 fours three sixes. Can he get himself to that century mark again? Yep. Only just the one of them. They're pushing for a couple. Great bit of running. Reeves encroaching on his century now. 98 runs, just a couple away. Ooh. Bit of nerves there for Reeves, is that? 98, he's on, 98, he's just almost walked past it. Whew. Beating the bat, well bold. 98, 96 deliveries. Batted for 128 minutes, probably nearing 130 now. Open the innings for us. Can he just get us over that? Get himself over that milestone. One away. Here we go. Woodmanston have got their opener back on. Well, four overs for 20 runs so far. Regan's on 99. There he is. He's just nudged it for a single. What a wonderful innings. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to get here for the start. But that boy deserves that. He has batted so well all season. And, uh, well, two centuries in two games against these guys. Great knock from him. I think he likes them. Yes, and following delivery, Gaino has gone down the track, trying to whack him miles and uh, a cheeky little edge straight to the keeper, who comfortably took it. That's nice to see. Yes. Lovely start there for Richard. Oh, he's ah, oh, they forced the misfield. And he's managed to get a couple. Beautiful stroke to get off the mark. Very nice from Regan. That is very well struck from Regan. Seems to be opening his, uh, opening his hips a little bit now. A shocker. Oh, he won't want to watch that one back. He's going to stay in there. <laughs> He's snuck a cheeky four there. 196 for five off 36. And Regan is certainly clearing his front foot and having a whack now. And why not when you're on 121? I think you've got every right to do so. Makes it very entertaining for us just watching. Unfortunately, we've got Wadders. Wadders, the smallest person. Oh, he's chopped on. What is the smallest person you could ever possibly see on the cricket pitch? And, uh, and he's in the way. Anyway, beautiful knock from Regan. And uh, at the end of it, unfortunately, inside edge onto the stumps. And that is him, 121. He got in the end. Super knock. Saw us all the way through from the beginning. Very, very good. Here we go, 36 overs. Not very Richard-esque at all. And uh, he's tried to hit the ball over the top of mid on. He regularly fails to get it off the square, so I'm not quite sure why he's trying to do that. Um, but that's in him caught comfortably. It's a shame. Pink bucket hat. 
did the job. And uh, that's the end of Richard as well. Looks like we've got Adam Stevenson walking to the crease. Two new batsmen now. You've got Will Taylor at the far end from us now. And the replacement for Rich is going to be Adam Stevenson now. Oh, that's just chipped it over extra cover. Going to get off the mark of a couple. Is it? Yeah, very well fielded in the background there. Really, really good. That puts 200 on the board for us. 200 for 7 or 38. That's a wonderful shot from Adam. That's plugged in the ground. Slowed right up. That's a shame. That deserved four all day long. Who's that? He's tried to work it around his work it onto the leg side but looks things and he's missed the ball and he's been bowled. That's the end of Will. That wicket's falling very, very quickly here. Someone's gonna have to stick around and put some runs on the board. Although well, we've got two hundred on the board, there's no harm in having any more. Here we go, we've got Guy on strike. He's the guy replacing I don't know who who Will Will. I think he's replacing Will Taylor now. Yes, oh, it's an edge it's running my way. Might be a hard chase. Fantastic stop. Really, really good effort. He saved a couple of runs there. That's very well struck. Is it going to split the fielders? No, they're well round. Great fielding from Woodmanston today. Really has been fantastic. Whoa, that's gone high. It's not gone far enough and it's not going to land in a fielder's hands. Oh, he's run past it. Oh, it's over the boundary. The left armour, Joe Pryor back on again. Seven for 47. Just got the one wicket so far. The boys are looking to be, well, just to accelerate the runs as much as we can. Still got a couple of wickets in hand. Score at the moment, I have been pretty poor at keeping up with it. I do apologise, viewers. 222 for eight of 42. Must be something to do with lack of sleep. Probably is. It's a miracle I'm still standing, to be honest. And comfortably taken, extra cover. That is the end of Adam. Shame, and was striking the ball very nicely. He's the ball nicely all year, to be honest with you. Uh, look at this, look who we've got coming in. Charlie march into the crease. If, here we go, Charlie on strike, replacing Adam. Number 11 for us. Surely gonna be looking to deploy his long limbs. Put it back through the ball. <laughs> Not as hard as I thought. Just turned it over for a single score at the moment. 225, that's going to be 226 for nine. It's a very good score. This is 44th over, so there's only two more overs to go. This guy has missed that one there, and that is him cleaned up. That is the end of Hawley's innings. Looking to accelerate at the end, yeah, to put maximum runs on the board. Good have batted for another over or so, but is what it is. Hopefully that's not going to cost us the game. 2-2-6. Two, two, That'll be 2-2-7 two, two, to win. That's well batted from Hawley. Wonderful knock from Regan. What a great innings that was. And uh, really, really good to see. And catch him. He got a century against him last time. Sadly, I didn't get it on camera. Really pleased I didn't get this one. Well bowled and well stuck out there by Woodmans then. I've got no doubt they're going to still look to go out and chase it down. And uh, yeah, it'll be our job to stop them. Let's see how we do. Here we go then viewers, 2-2-7 two, two, to win for Woodmanstone. Big Willie with ball in hand, he's charging in. It's a good start, that's going to teach it out. Solid. Got... Oh, he's down. Um, well, there we go, and dropped him. First ball, this batsman. Just about to say, Will's opening partner. Charlie Robbins and couldn't have dropped a more regulation catch if he tried. Crikey. Oh, that's, a, that's a delivery and half. What a great first over from Charlie. Should have had one.
What is in pursuit down there? Now he's going to stop it. No, he hasn't. And very quickly across the outfield, that one. Well picked up that slower ball. Nicely guided. Well picked up by Adam. Good cricket. Well run. That's up in the air. That's got to be caught. Well, we're in the sixth over. We should have had both openers out by now. Two very simple regulation catches, both gone down. Let's hope Charlie can find another one. Opportunity soon. Playing nicely. Bowling well and fielding well. This is a good cricket, good battle. Uh, the, uh, the only opportunities we've had, nice simple ones we have uh, to take for now. And it will come around again, I have no doubt. Until then, let's hope they don't score too many runs and punish us for that. Score is 11 for zero off five at the moment. Still another good delivery. Very well picked up. Lovely, lovely. Well played. Whoa. That's quick and sharp. That's very good. He's just about held on to it at the square leg. <laughs> I thought we were going to put another one down there. <laughs> but no, held on. The guys, I think, they almost believed it was going to go down as well. After our run from the first part of this innings. But hey ho, there we go. First wicket has fallen. Charlie has struck. It's an awful ball. And the batsman will be very disappointed with himself. And uh, I'm probably sure Will won't be happy either because he feels that that should be his wicket. Walking off already. Anyway, in roads, 16 for one off seven. New batsman walking to the crease. Ah, oh, very nicely guided. That's going to run away. Quick outfield, no stopping that one. It's in the air, that should be caught. Very well taken by Will, running off to his left and a good dive, comfortably taken. Really, really good. Second wicket, Charlie's got a couple now. 23 for two, off nine. Looking good. Oh, it's picked up nicely. Could run as well. Quick outfield, as we know. Yeah, it's no stopping it. Here we go. Will's still in search of a wicket, currently bowling. This is his seventh over. He's got. Six overs, two maidens, 18 runs so far for no wickets. Charlie, on the other hand, has bowled six, two maidens again, 14 runs, but he has got two wickets. That's very nicely played as well. A few boundaries off Will in this over. So Will's come off on the far end, Ben Davies replacing him. See if we can get a couple of wickets. Stem the flow of runs, that'd also be quite good. See in the background there, 50 for two of 14. Great shot, really well guided. Might not be stopped. No, lovely. Well played. Oh, slower ball hasn't come out very well from Ben there. And uh, it's been put away for four. Couldn't quite be stopped by Richard. Big flow of boundaries here, and uh, yeah, Woodmanson looking in, in a pretty good shape at the moment. 62 for two off 16. Oh, it's just past Barnett's hands. It would have been catchable height had he been in the right position. A phenomenal chase from Will. Wasn't quite enough. Here we go. Adam the wicket taker Stevenson on for a bowling replacement of Charlie. Let's see if he can do some damage and take a couple of wickets for us. Intense fielding that. Caught and bowled. There we go. He's made the breakthrough. Very early doors. That's the guy we needed as well. Batted very nicely. Got himself to a beautiful 39. And uh, he's departing. He'll be disappointed with that. Had it very nicely indeed. 
Adam, however, the wicket taker Stevenson, strikes again. Guy in pursuit in the background there. Well run couple that. So then viewers, scored a moment, 88 to 3 off 25. Adam the wicket taker Stevenson, still on bowling. He's got a wicket, which is all good, that's what we like to see. Um, now, could be a big day today. Maybe, possibly. Could it, couldn't it be? Um, this promotion push, we're in the promotion spot at the moment, yes, 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 in second place. And um, we have done calculations. And if we win today, and Lingfield lose, Lingfield are the only people who can stop us, um, and Lingfield lose, if we win, there is no way we can be stopped. We cannot be knocked off the second place spot. Um, Lingfield are playing Weybridge Vandals. Now, Weybridge Vandals are a very good team. They are really, really decent. And um, currently, they are 40 for six off 20 overs. That's Lingfield are 40 for six off 20 overs. And they're chasing 160. So, uh, yeah, that's looking like Lingfield are gonna struggle to chase that one down. So all we've got to do is close out this game with a win. Um, and that is almost an assured promotion spot. Obviously, we will uh, then recalculate later on. But uh, there could be some celebrations tonight. That'll be Hawley into the Surrey Championship. We go into the Surrey Championship, Div 5. Um, should that be the case? So let's just watch this space and see how it goes. That is short and rank. Oh, Regan's picked it up nicely. He's got away with one now, I think. Well, super spell there from Ben. He's come off, and uh, we have brought Gaino on for a bowl from the far end. Now, Gaino does what Gaino normally does. He's uh, going to be tight lines and lengths. Ooh, tight lines and lengths, and uh, yeah, challenging the stumps. Uh, fingers crossed. He can get a couple of quick wickets for us, and we'll start seeing batsmen six and seven at crease, and uh, and then yeah, we should hopefully start seeing the uh, the tail of Woodmanstown. <laughs> oh, that's dangerous. Oh, crikey. <laughs> there you go. Gaino's got it through. As always, gets it underneath the bat. Top bowler. Very, very good. Always on the money. That's a great shot. Is Reeves going to get round? Yes, he is. Shot a scoreboard, why not? Let's see how we're over there. Oh, that could be down Will's throat. No, it's over his head. That's a big one. That's a big corner of the ground, that is. Huge hit. After oh, a stonking spell last week, taking six. Guy Darren's got the ball back in hand again. See if he can take some wickets today. Linkfield at the moment, 63 for eight. Uh, their chase of 160 doesn't look like it's going to come off, but you never know. And uh, currently, we have got Woodmanstone 120 for four off 31. So they've still got quite a way to go. That's in the air. That is massive. Ooh, lick the stamp and send it. Is it the clubhouse? That's a big one. There we go, he's run him out. What a brilliant bit of fielding. <laughs> he's just been sold right up the river. <laughs> That's outrageous. Great bit of fielding from Guy, well bowled, well across, and good arm in, well taken from Ant. That's a really, really bit, good bit of cricket. Unfortunate for the batsman that's on, the way, on his way out. Here we go. 
big willy with ball in hand. Hoping to get a couple of wickets. Obviously he lost his one. Oh, the slower ball, it's up in the air. Who's going to catch it? And he's been taken by Ant. <laughs> I think Will wanted to take it himself for a minute just to assure the catch. But, um, but yeah, Ant was 100% certain in himself with the gloves after dropping one, an absolute dolly earlier on in the game. There we go. Cool and off. So, Will we hoping to get another one. one. It's 10 and over required now for Woodmanstone. 138 for 6 off 36. See if Will can do the damage. <laughs> Thick edge. Blown away. Over the boundary. It's four runs. Oh, he's bowled another one. And it's taken a rotten bounce and Reeves has run straight past it. That's got to be pretty close. Ooh. Well watched. <laughs> Beautifully cut away. Very nice shot. He tells what he did. Oh, hello. This could be a wicket. Should be. Yeah. <laughs> if Guy dropped that one, I think he would have been lynched. Oh, dear. Well, that was a very comfortable catch in the end. Ben is on the wickets board now, he's got one. Will did have one in the end. And uh, yeah, we're closing in, closing in on the end. Hopefully, finish it out with getting all the wickets. That would be nice, rather than seeing out the overs. Who did you chop it? Oh, there's no one near it. It's going to land in the middle of no man's land. Oh, that's well bowled. He's got the nod. He's been given. Sounded very much pad on bat to me. Batsman seems to think that the... Um... Ooh, that's a great shot. What a beautiful pickup. Fantastic strike. So viewers, we are into the last over. Ben Davies tasked with bowling it. Woodmanstone will be very happy. They've got over the 180 mark. They wanted that as a target so they can get some batting bonus points. And uh, yeah, bonus points for them if they thought they were going to lose. Bonus points are very important for them to help their relegation battle by all accounts. Um, with Lingfield having lost, and uh, well, 188 on the board, them getting to 226 is certainly not going to happen. The victory for us is almost certainly assured which means that next year you will see us in Surrey Championship Div 5, which is a phenomenal task which we have achieved. It's a momentous point for the club. And, uh, yeah, you'll probably see the guys will be quite pleased themselves by the time we finish this over. Ducking out of a bouncer as well. Richard is thrilled about the fact that they're going up. And that's a uh, yeah. great effort. It's always a long, hard season. 18 hard games. It's been a hard fought season. I mean, you look at this league, it's seriously tight. And uh, anyone could have beaten anyone. And they have done, quite so. So, uh, yeah, the guys, well bowled to Will. What a phenomenal set of bowling figures he's had throughout the season. Well bowled to Will Ben. Regan, couple of centuries, Gaino's you know, bowled well. Ah, just the generally, overall team performance has been utterly fantastic. And uh, well, it showed in the fact Barnett, that's also quite a nice touch, the fact that Barnett can play. He played the first game, got injured, and he's the, his return to the first team is the match that they get promoted. Yeah, very, very good for them. They'll be thrilled. There's a second 11 won their game, third 11 won their game, I think, as well. Not 100% sure, maybe not, but there's a lot of Hawley supporters over there, and uh, yeah, they'll be very happy with the fact that the ones are going up. Twos, I think the twos have got a chance of promotion as well, so it'll be a huge year for the club.
obligatory handshakes at the end there. And um, yeah, thank you for being with us all year. We've obviously still got a year, week left. I'm really looking forward to that week. A week of no pressure whatsoever. Um, well done to Woodman Stern today. They uh, batted well, they bowled well, and uh, just couldn't quite match up, unfortunately. But thanks for being with us. Be sure to be with us next year. That'll be good. And uh, well, I'll see you next week, that's for sure. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next week.